matter how long I've dreamed of doing this! <laughs> <laughs> Basil. Oh yes, my fellow hunters, welcome, welcome, one and all, uh, to Monster Hunter Rise version 2.0, or title update 1, with a whole plethora of new monsters to hunt. So, the first thing you will do when you enter game after getting the update is talk to Fugan, and then he'll immediately tell you about Basil. So it's a little bit of a shame that they're not letting it be a actual, you know, just surprise, sudden explosion in an otherwise normal hunt, and just straight up tell you and spoil you of his existence instantly, but that's just how it is. It's also why I feel comfortable making this video, as he's not at all in any way attempted to be hidden by the game. It's put in your face first, as he's, well, the only new new monster that's even available until you start grinding HR. Anyway, he is- Okay, thanks, Basil. Appreciate that. I really missed your raw. You know what? I have missed him. I have. I know he was just in World, but he wasn't really in Icebond, was he? His uh, seething counterpart was restricted to one map, we lost him as an invader, he's very much felt kind of absent. And I adore Basil. If I had to, on balance, choose the one monster World in Icebond gave us that should become a series staple, it would be him, and Rise proves exactly why. He is glorious. He looks gorgeous. His scales are magnificent, and they are filled with endless pain. Now, I will initially say, he's not the hardest fight in the world, but then again, he wasn't back in world. But he's certainly still a challenge, and obviously it helps to already be attempting him in a maximized endgame set. Anyone just kind of having a go as they about get to HR7 is going to have a really brutal time, and that's really, really cool. But the bottom line here is we have our invader, and I for one am all for it. I cannot wait to do hunt upon hunt, think everything's going smoothly, only to have a... <laughs> happen and ruin everything. Will it get old? Maybe, but for now, it is just brilliant. In terms of his moveset then, he seems very much a faithful recreation with just a few little tweaks here and there. A few more fire attacks, here's a big uh, B-52 full-on bomber strafing run explode is as both dangerous and breathtaking as it ever was. And he recovers from it a lot faster now, and indeed he does everything a lot faster, which makes sense, because he was very slow and lumbering, and with our wirebug shenanigans, we'd kind of dance around him all day, so he's very much got some upgrades. And, and seriously, I, I just need to mention it again, he looks so good! The glow, the fire burning in him! <laughs> He definitely has more spread and more volume on his explosive scales, which again makes sense. In fact, uh, to bring up the super move again, I actually found myself having kind of a, there's nowhere safe, what the hell, moment, whereas in base world with Basil, it felt very much a move you could just slowly walk away from and nothing would really happen to you. I don't know if it's a case of just not being quite used to his rise incarnation yet, but his scales definitely feel more claustrophobic. They feel much more everywhere. They feel much more accidentally walk into a bull blow up a bull catable, and that is really, really quite good. He still takes meaty amount of damage to go along with his meaty health pull. His wyvern ride is fantastic. You can uh, throw his scales round everywhere, and he is very, very fun to command. And all around, he is just a joyous welcome addition, and a cheeky little secret extra that's been packed into this already Hacked update, and I am very, very much on board for that. And of course, with a new monster, then comes a brand new armor set and weapons to go along with it. And surprise, surprise, it's basil armor. Oh my god! So, looks aside, does it 
actually function any good. Well, it's had a bit of a skill shift from the world version. It still features some guardiness, but everything else is different. A tiny splattering of agitator, not the most exciting thing, but it does have load shells, it does have artillery, and then that coupled with the quite now hefty guard skills, the heavy amount of slots, this might be a really good bit of base armor for a gun lance, for example. Generally, of course, as me, wielder of mighty big stick sword whacker, it's not the most, um, kind of, well, imagination sparking set, but it is a very, very solid set. Each piece has a lot going on with it, and essentially, if you care about guard, guard up, artillery, and load shells, or even a couple of those skills, this is going to be an excellent set to get pieces from in a really efficient way, so that's really quite nice to see. I'm excited to see what people actually end up doing with it. His weapons, then, are very interesting, as they seem actually rather good. Now, can he see the rare eight? As of yet, I assume it requires a material that is currently not attainable until uh, the next few HR barrier monster unlocks, but even the one that we can see before is really quite solid. It's of a similar spread on every single weapon, but we'll use the lance here as the example. 210 raw with blue sharpness is really not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. But the thing is, it has an upgrade. So that's incredibly promising. I can see basal weapons actually being fairly solid, especially as blast options, and ramp up wise, a bit of defense boost, eh, blast boost, yeah, okay, and a brutal strike is fairly decent as well in a affinity ignoring build. So essentially, we're looking at weapons that will definitely fill a niche, specifically a strong blast build, but will also, I think, in a few cases, be the go to for Roar as well, assuming this. This upgrade is as promising as it would lead us to believe. As a Rep 7 weapon, you really would hope so, but in any case, yeah, it is good to see the Basil weapons back once more. As it is indeed good to see Basil himself back once more! Invader again! And oh, he is glorious. Also in the Rampage too, so no, you're not gonna get away from him there, so maybe Apex Basil at one point? That would be kind of ridiculous! Based it on seething, I suppose if Apex follows the trend of uh, giving a base monster some upgrades from one of its other variations. But at the very least, what do you guys think? Are you happy that this is the hinted at extra monster? Are you a little bit like, oh, Basil's cool, but I was hoping for more. Is there going to be more? Am I going to finish this video and go find another hidden monster? Who knows? All I know is that this is just badass and he feels damn good to fight with a wire bug in tow and essentially our friend the party crasher <laughs> here to stay like you enjoyed this subscribe for more and i will see you soon a good boy Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye